Sugar Curl Studio Kitchen Live, and you are here not to learn how to cook, but to experience the beautiful mess that we will make in the kitchen tonight together, me and you. Yes, yes, so welcome. Hey, Cousin Jeanette. Oh, wow. Um, Y'all. So, okay, I feel better now. Uh, the website, of course, I want you to go there. You can always watch past videos there on my website as well at www.sugarpearlsonline.com. And don't forget to subscribe to my YouTube page now. If I'm going to get to a thousand, then we got work to do. Come on. On. subscribe subscribe from multiple email addresses at sugar pearls s-u-g-a-r-p-e-a-r-l apostrophe s let me spell that again one more, one more again s-u-g-a-r-p-e-a-r-l apostrophe s mm. So yes, we are gonna cook tonight. Very simple, very quick recipe. It can be quick anyway, but because I'm gonna be running my mouth, hey Martha, <laughs> hi boo. Um, you know, we gonna make sure we use the whole hour. Okay, and um, at the end, well not at the end, but as we're going, we're also gonna uh, discuss a couple things um so yeah this is a show where we not only cook eat have a good time mess up my kitchen um and it's also a place where we can talk and and discuss things so we're gonna get into a little discussion tonight but for starters let's get started with the recipes so I decided tonight um, because uh, I'll be doing a catering gig for a friend tomorrow. And again, when I have these gigs, I can't rest. I get nervous, a ball of nerves. I'm always thinking about like funny little details. So um, I'm going to deliver to uh, her in the morning. And... Um, I'll be cutting some potatoes tonight, so <laughs> I won't keep you too, too long, but long enough just to, you know, talk, say what we got to say. We're also going to have a little, um, uh, we need to have a meeting family. We need to have a meeting. And you know, when, you know, growing up, you know, especially in a black house, you know, somebody in the family say y'all need to have a meeting then, you know, it's serious because we don't call meetings. We just go get that switch. Um, so we're we, we going to have a for real meeting and talk. But for now, let's get started with our crab cake recipe. Okay, so I've got some crab meat here. Yes. Hi, Keisha. Hey, Anwar. Oh. <laughs> Hey guy, oh my gosh, thank you guys for tuning in. We've got some crab meat tonight. This is um back fin, it's cooked already, shelled, and all of that. Huge. It's not lump, but it'll it'll do the trick. This can cost me about about seventeen dollars. Okay. But the the crab is mm, nice and tender and sweet. So we're going to, you can do it with, um, of course, lump. I just couldn't afford the lump, so I didn't get the lump. I got the back fan, okay? But this is a quick little recipe for you. All right, so I'm going to bring you in with me. Hey, Alex. Boom. This is how we do it. Hey, 
So I got some lighting. Yeah, and I got a um a camera stand. Oh, don't worry, I'll show you. I'll show you. Not tonight, but you know. Um, yeah, like a legit camera stand. Boo. Now I just need to make sure I know how to work it. Mm-hmm. Like so. Yes. Hey, okay, it's working. All right, so for the crab cake, we're going to start. I just dumped it up, and I'm going to make all of this, um, even if I don't um, make it all into patties, I can freeze it, because I'm probably going to eat one, maybe two tonight, okay? So let us begin with the little little medley of onions here. Hey, D. <laughs> Detrick, that is. Um, we got some red peppers. We've got some green onions. And I got some red onions in here too, just a little bit, because I didn't want it to overpower the lump, the, um, the crab meat. It can be kind of delicate in flavor. Uh, and too much of anything in, in your crab cake, you'll be able to tell instantly. Okay, so I'm gonna just dump all. Okay, so all together, that was probably like maybe a half a cup um, onions and peppers. Yeah, like, like that. Okay, uh, one egg. Yeah. Okay. Let's do some pink salt. And we'll do a little bit more so it can go all the way through. We're going to do just a little bit what is this this is tarragon okay and tarragon has a very distinctive we're actually going to use this for our um romelade sauce to go with this so we're not going to use a whole lot i'm just eyeing it uh and just crush it on up in there like so all right don't want too much of that in there all right, a little Worcestershire. One, two, three tablespoons there. What am I missing? <laughs> okay, and you know you need a little bit of mayonnaise. Okay, so I'm going to do about a tablespoon. I don't want to use the same one for my mustard. Need a little bit of mustard. I've got a... That was a heaping teaspoon. <laughs> a heaping, I say. Okay. And... Oh my goodness, y'all! Mother's Day is Sunday. Yeah, so... Happy Mother's Day to you fine women out there who um whether you are your children's mother or someone else's mother a mother like like a mother to someone else um happy mother's day to you i hope you have all that you want and more than you need hmm. yes I really, really do. Okay, I want to do a little bit of hot sauce. Just a little. We ain't going crazy. Just a little. Y'all ain't talking to me. Y'all being so voyeuristic tonight. You just viewing. Y'all just looking. Hey, Rochelle. Hey, brother. Hi, Michael. Hi, Monica. Y'all 
ain't saying nothing. Just over here, just looking. What's wrong with y'all? <laughs> oh, this is going to be a lot. Okay, once you break that crab up. Oh, my, my, my. Okay, now we're starting to incorporate everything inside the bowl here. Now, this is, there's a, did you add garlic powder? Yes, I added a little bit, but uh, I'm going to go back and add some more. So I start off with as, as few, um, try not to add so much, and then I do the taste test and then go back. If it needs more, I can add more, okay? But I really don't want to overpower this lump crab too much. Um, I got my panko breadcrumbs. For this, you can use um, Ritz crackers. Some people use saltines. All right, I've just got a plain panko breadcrumb. And you saw me do about two. I don't like no bready um, crab cake. I'm gonna taste, the crab is first. That's the first word. So that's what I wanna taste the most, the crab. I'm going to taste your old raggedy bread. Oh, honey. Oh, oh, oh. Okay. Let's get it. Because remember, I put salt in there too. So I'm just going to stir, stir, stir. Get it nice and well incorporated. Then I will taste. And if I need to add a little more onion powder or, oh, that's what it was, onion Probably could use a little more mayo to the situation. But let's see. We don't want to just go on our looks. We want it to taste right. So we're going to taste it. Okay. It's good. It doesn't make me dance. But it's good. Let me... Let me add and salt. Okay. Pepper. Pepper. Onion powder. Ooh, yes. Yes. That onion powder went up my nose, child. <laughs> <laughs> uh, paprika just a little it doesn't do anything for the flavor but it's going to have it looking right pretty let's do a little more, more. alright let's do a little bit of mayo that was a tablespoon I put in the first time I'm going to do a teaspoon this time Okay, I, I lied. I did a, a heap. <laughs> that was about a tablespoon. <laughs> okay, let's get rid of these. Stir again. And I bet you this time we're going to have something that tastes a little more authentic. Here we go. Mmm. I only did, um... Oh, some Himalayan salt, but trying to figure out the best dishes to you, honey. That's a good question. Uh, so Millicent is asking in community, y'all can chime in. Is Himalayan salt my mother swears that I use it on everything? Everything, um, I have to remember to use iodized salt in some, some places in my diet, but Himalayan salt, I use that all the time. It just seems, um, my mother says it seems less salty, like the, the sodium content is not as high. I don't know if that's a fact. Somebody from the community can look it up, but I don't know. I don't know. I just, I just put it on everything. Put that on everything. All right, let's try this now. Ooh. Mmm. 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 That made me do a slow wine. That's good. That's that's good. 
Okay, so now we got our mixture. I, this is our crab cake. Remember, I only use like a, a handful and a, two handfuls of the panko breadcrumbs. That's it, right there in the center, right? Enough like that. Put it in and, and mix it because uh, I don't want it bready. Now, um, there are some places that you will go that make it very bready. You know, because they're trying to stretch the crab, so they'll use a lot of fillers other, other than the crab. Um, which is like, you cheating me, so. No, don't. Mm -mm. Not, not good. Not good. Okay. Pan. Gonna do some regular old uh, canola. Don't, um, when you're doing your crab cakes, just enough to coat the pan and, and then a little bit more. When you're doing your crab cakes, um, what was I going to say? Yes, that was it, the oil. So, Try not to use like a olive oil to fry this or a grapeseed oil or something like that. You want a nice bland oil to fry your um, crab cakes, okay? Because you don't want the oil to have a greater intensity than this lovely light di Oh! Lemon juice. Don't forget the lemon juice, y'all. It's... It's stuff on my mind, and I'm trying not to say it yet until the meeting. So remember that um, if you were if you were with me for the last show, um, I brought up the fact that uh, you know if we as people have a meeting, sign me up. That's a meeting I want to go to. Remember me saying that? Well. I figured that I'm people, you people. Um, we got this platform called uh, Facebook Live where we can uh, talk about things that have. I'm back because I had to fix my cocktail, honey. Get your cocktail ready because it's it's gonna be that kind of kind of night. Yes, it's gonna be that kind of night. Uh, I don't know why I just thought about uh Tupac pour out a little liquor. I have not heard that song <laughs> in years. Why would I even bring that up? Like that was nowhere in my playlist anytime this week. Pour out a little liquor. Mm. I would tell you to smack your mama, but it's Mother's Day weekend. Don't do it. Don't do it. Okay. Honey, that's right. That lemon juice. Hey, Christine. <laughs> oh, good. Hey, Trina. My cousins are chiming in. We are having a family meeting tonight. Because uh, I, I just got things. I need to... Saying I am in no way um, the people's representative, but um, y'all here, so we might as well represent together. Okay, let that oil warm up. I got new lights, y'all, so I'm adjusting. I said that's better. That's better. Okay, I know. Like legit lights. Like I'm like I'm in a studio somewhere, child. Oh my god, hey top <laughs> like, like she's somebody. Like she's somebody. Alright. So I put some garlic bulbs in the oven. Um earlier when you know, before I, I brought you on. Now I'm gonna take them out. 
and oh yeah baby okay so these are my garlic bulbs i had in the oven that's one and oh yes and two so skins and all just put it in the oven bottom rack 350 that might have been 20 minutes i turned at the 10 like turn it on the opposite side and then let let it roast mm -hmm. so right now i'm just gonna let those garlic bulbs cool off because they're hot okay all right this will be from a how you say it rumalad rumalad ramalad I'm going to find out how to pronounce it and then I'm going to be saying it all the time. You're not going to be able to stop me. Ramala. Rumala. Ramalu. It ain't Ramalu. Lemonade. Lemonade. Rama, Rama. We'll figure it out. We'll figure it out together. Um, oh, yeah. So, garlic bulbs. These are going to be for my little garlic toast that I'm going to make tonight. Just a little. I ain't a big bread eater. I know you can't tell that looking at me, but I'm going to just open that up. Mother's Day. I'll always love my mama. She's my favorite girl. Only get one, only get one, yeah. Didn't know you was going to get a whole show, huh? Uh -huh. <laughs> a whole show. All right. Let that go. Move this out of the way because we're going to make some little, some little balls in a minute. Oh, I know what it is. This this feeling is weird. Um, it's kind of sadness, sadness that I feel. I'm I'm not breaking down. Everything is fine. Everything, but there is is a bit of sadness. Um, and I, I, I don't feel like I'm the only one. I think you might feel it too. Hey, thanks, bro. <laughs> My brother, Lynn. Okay. So you got your garlic bulbs. All right. Okay. We're going to get those skinned in just a little bit. Um, for the Ramalad. Until y'all tell me how to say it the right way. Somebody write it phonetically. <laughs> okay. You need mayo. Mm -hmm. You know, we doing it with the mayo tonight, huh? And I'm not making a lot. Just. Just a little. Y'all have to watch these recipes. I can't tell you amounts and how much of this or that to use. I try sometimes, but, you know, most days I'm just trying to figure it out myself. <laughs> That's it, okay? So to that mail, we're going to add uh, a little sriracha. That pink salt. Remember that tarragon that we used in the um, cakes itself? We're going to add a little. Now, it, it's, it's got a strong flavor to it and fragrance. So you don't want to overdo it with the tarragon. Okay. A little dab will do, yeah. All right, let us do the Worcestershire, pepper, and capers. Yay! 
gets capers. Um, I forgot to turn off my do not disturb, y'all. I'm sorry about that. So you'll you'll probably hear notifications. About a about a tablespoon of capers and in, in the juice. Mix, mix, mix. A little lemon, lemon juice. This is the rum a lot. Okay. Almost identical to the ingredients used in the crab cake. Okay, I got it. Don't do nothing else. Don't do nothing else. That was it. That was it. Okay. All right. So I got that sitting aside with my um, crab cake mixture. Now I need to do the garlic. Garlic. Yes garlic for my toast okay and i didn't want to like buy garlic toast i wanted to make my own garlic toast so let's see about getting getting the garlic peel and then we could start to make a paste okay so it's nice and soft now because it's been in the oven for quite some time Okay, so all we're doing is removing, see, these, this is cooked. That's cooked. That, that is oven roasted garlic, okay? And once you roast it, if, you, if you're doing it right, see how it just comes out the pod? Look at that, just like that, okay? So just take it out the pod. Ooh, another one. See, that's cooked. That's a, that's a piece of garlic right there. Oh, this is going to be a nice garlicky garlic toast. Okay, skin it. Ooh! <laughs> it worked! It worked! It worked! Yes! I know. I know, and you can do it too! Oh! Okay, so uh, welcome. Yes, thank you for being here, for choosing to share your precious time with Lolo Me from Lynchburg, South Carolina. Thank you. It's Sugar Pearls Studio Kitchen Live. The website is sugarpearlsonline.com. YouTube, you can subscribe there. Click the bell and get notifications when I continue to post these videos. YouTube is Sugar Pearls. That's S-U-G-A-R-P-E-A-R-L apostrophe S. And Instagram and Instagram TV at Sugar Pearls underscore online. Do it, do it, do it. Do it today. All right. Okay, so oil is hot. Now I've got my garlic pods. I'm going to call them. And we're about to mash that thing with some butter. Honey. Let's go ahead and mash, mash, mash. Oh, oh. garlic paste now I have garlic paste um but I wanted to make my own it worked it worked it worked okay all right this grease is telling me come on and put something in me I heard it popping all right so now to our garlic paste we're just gonna add a little butter I had this sitting out also because I wanted it to be Nice and spreadable. <laughs> okay. 
back in the fridge you go and just mix this is it you can add uh, to your garlic butter your homemade garlic butter now that you know how to roast the garlic in the oven bottom rack 350 20 minutes first 10 minutes let it cook last 10 minutes flip the bulbs so that they cook on the other side okay and putting the yes I roasted them mm -hmm. so just put it in the uh, oven like I said and you'll have nice garlic pods popping out of their skin all you got to do is make a little and i found some texas toast okay if you wanted did i say you could add your own herbs and spices to your butter but i'm i'm gonna keep it plain jane tonight okay so i'm not gonna add any additional salt or anything like that the butter is salted um honey i i got to look out for this blood pressure child okay make sure i do the right thing i can't be putting salt in everything well i can just with moderation you know don't nothing beat some good old salt all right Oh boy, y'all are so wonderful being here with me. All right. Okay. So I'm going to put this toast now that I've buttered it, put it in my little pan. I didn't, I didn't feel like taking out the big old griddle. It is a big griddle. And I just, I ain't had the heart for it. So, one side down. Um, and in this pan, I can only do one at a time. So, you know, we're just making it work. That's it. Just making it work. That's it. <laughs> Thank you guys so much. Um, yeah. Um, we're seeing uh, states, you know, open back up despite not seeing any lowering of uh cases for the coronavirus um but but things are opening back up and um okay so i say things in my head first and then i have time to decide whether or not i should say it out loud we still cooking we still cooking um this meter has not come to order yet but this is just a little food for your soul um businesses uh, stay at home orders are now expiring people are dying to, literally get hair done nails done um you know and enjoy some of the you know pleasures that we always used to enjoy um so it's not surprising to me it's not surprising to me that america yes i said america all of it puts green before human life okay now i'm gonna go a little bit deeper and it's gonna be part of our family discussion later on not only not value human life regular old human life but especially black human lives and that has made me so sad like just grieving grieving <sighs> mm. you have to be living under a rock if you have not heard 
about Ahmaud Arbery. You have to be if you don't know. Um, I'm gonna I'm gonna save that for the family discussion because we we must do things. We must do better. Hmm. All right, let's start to make the cakes. So while I've got one piece of toast in the back, it's not quite done just yet. Let's go ahead and start to, I know that, that wasn't a smooth transition because you can't say that and make a smooth transition. Sorry, I said it. I said it. if the system doesn't care about an Ahmaud Aubrey, they sure enough don't care about you breaking your neck to get out here and go shopping. Twenty-six year olds tomorrow. Twenty-six year old, he will be twenty-six years old tomorrow. I keep saying will. Because it, it just makes me angry to think about the, you know, uh, the promise that was, you know, stripped away from our community. I don't know what this man contributed um, to our society or would have. And that's not for me to figure out, but... How come nobody's saying anything or doing anything oh gosh I'm saying it I'm trying to say it without saying it okay so this this is what I need so okay let me let me just say it how I say it okay um so for my white friends my not I'll say my non-black friends because it's not just white you know, I've got some Asian friends, you know, that are my Facebook friends and all of that. Okay, so if if you're on, then I need for you to, like, join in. Like, you're part of this family, too. So I need to, like, be able to have this conversation with us all. Because we've been talking about it among ourselves, the melanated part of the family, for a minute. But right now, I need... I need you, my, my other cousins, to, to join this conversation because, you know, maybe I, I'm missing a perspective because I hear us all the time. But, um, you know, we, we march and we walk and we walk and march and, and sit and stand and all of that and all of that is good all of that is a great way to use our voice but um i think that a lot of that tends to fall on deaf ears because some of y'all ain't saying it like my my non black friends and family okay so if you amen in with me, yes, yes, that is so true. Oh my God, absolutely. Like, I don't need for you to tell me. I need for you to tell your white friends that my people matter and why. I Okay, I said it. Could be me. Just could be me. Hmm. Cause when y'all when y'all need help with y'all stuff, we out there marching with y'all. Me too. 
Mm-hmm. We right out there with y'all. Marching and, and chanting and all of that. Marching right along with you. Time's up. When when y'all gonna march with us and say the the unsaid to your your folk and some of them your family like some of your family been raised with certain ideals like I need for you to go and tell them mom dad you know uncle Stuart you're so wrong I need for you to do that cause they ain't gonna hear from me. That's what I need you for. Okay. I said it. The establishment doesn't take black voices seriously. Never did. Only cares during election season. We've been saying this. We've been saying this. Yeah. When y'all need us to vote, you know, Joe Biden want us to show up. And, and I love Uncle Joe. That's fine. You know, but he ain't the only one when uh, Bernie Sanders needed us. Like, we were there. We were there in the bag. Right there. But, you know, I, I need help. I need help fighting. That's all I'm saying. Need a little help. So all I'm doing, I'm not going to fry it because I got to cook this egg, remember? So I put one egg in this mix. Stop. Hold on. We need to spend our money and I come up. Tanika, see, you here to start stuff. See, that's your problem. You always want to start stuff. Oh, oh, Brooklyn act itself. See? Absolutely right. We in a hurry to get out of here and spend money on an economy that never works for us mm -hmm. to support the establishments and business of others that will uh, disparage you will um, I mean you patronize them but they ain't patronizing you I just, I just wonder, I just wonder, we got to make our dollars make sense, and why, why, this is the family discussion, okay, the meeting has come to order, it's come to order, said so he looked real, child, mm -hmm. I, I only, I, I can't even say the number, Four and five together. I can't. With four in the tens place and the five in the ones. I, I can't even say the number no more. That's how old I am. I don't even want to say the number no more because it's death to him. I didn't see the tape. You ain't got to see the tape and no wrong is wrong. And by the way, thank you, Georgia, for going to arrest these men so nicely. Two months later, almost three. Thank you. Like, but then they'll give you little drips and drabs and feed you what you want every now and then. Yeah, because we made a fuss about it. That's why. That's why. The men didn't flee. They didn't run. They were right there because they didn't feel like they were wrong. I'm just tired of it. I just, I just think it's crazy. Absolutely crazy. But you want to, you want to give your little money to them. You better invest in yourself. That's what we better do. We better figure out a way not to get into this mess again. That's what we need to be doing. But no, every single time. Give us a little check and they done bought you a little vote. Mm -mm. Not, not. Yep. 
I don't know. I I could be wrong. And that I don't mind dissenting voices. I don't. I welcome it. But I don't. Hey, Claudette. Claudette, see? Okay, I got one white friend. Okay, I really need more white friends, Claudette. <laughs> I forgot she was white. What is the issue? Black folks have to stop allowing you up. They don't arrest them because they saw them because we saw the video. Of course we did. We do it every time, letting people treat us as doormats, child. Oh Lord. Mm. That's what I'm talking about. You better be Black Panther up in here, Tanika. Infiltrate from within. Look, we got to do something different. Something. There is no reason, no reason why our community should have to suffer at others' hands and the world is not enraged. The world should be enraged. So... You know, I don't know when y'all gonna start making some noise, but we we got to do something. I didn't watch the video. I didn't watch it. Um, I have a son. He is twenty three, and uh, he's a special needs twenty three. So. Uh, my fears are real every day he tall he's he's black when he gets mad he can he can look intimidating yeah so i couldn't watch the video because i'd probably be ready to go fight somebody like there there is no reason why in america in 2020 that that should have happened and they just went home and you know lived regular covid-19 lives wasn't running from nobody wasn't hiding right there your very neighbors. How does that happen? I I don't understand. If we don't vote, racism will continue. I'm outraged by this. Yeah, they arrested me. Yeah, exactly. See, we happy that uh, Tara Lar. We we happy that they got arrested. But look at George Zimmer. George got arrested. They went through some farce trial to make you shut up and stop marching and doing all this stuff and wearing your hoodies because they were scared. They were scared. That's all. That's why uh, they had a trial. That's why these fools got arrested. Yeah. So, I, I don't know. Good night, boo. It's just a mess. It's just got to get better. I know you would, Claudette. Crazy self. She'd be right up there in the middle of it. <laughs> she would. I just, I don't understand what, what the fear is. What is the, is, is there a fear of black people? Um, 
you know we everybody can pop off once in a while you know i pop off not because i'm i'm black just because sometimes i pop off but i don't understand and then I don't know. Uh, intimidation? What? What is it? What is it? What is it? Tell me. Tell me. Uh, we'll see what happens. That's all we can do. See what happens. And pray that mother and father find some peace. Once again. R.I.P. R.I.P. I just don't want us to keep falling for it. Stop falling for it. Oh, those crab cakes smell good. sad calling what is the fear i don't understand when you become a threat you become a target <laughs> uh -oh. So I got my crab cakes in here. Just a little oil. Let it cook kind of slow. You got to cook. Remember, you put an egg inside the mixture, so you got to let it cook. Okay? Not just get brown. Um, I only want to flip once. When I made those balls, I didn't press them. See, they, you, can't, you can't press them when they ain't full of breading. If they were full of breading, then you can press away. You can mold that thing into the Eiffel Tower if you want to. Okay, but I couldn't do that because it's, it's crab. Okay, with a handful of panko. All right, so. All right. Y'all gonna laugh at me if it fall apart. Because <laughs> I think it might. Oh, Lord. It just might. I wish as a white person someone could explain it to me. Yeah, I. If you feel that way as a white woman, then how the hell do you think I feel? <laughs> like, explain it to me. Why are we scared of black people? But then try to cop our style. I'm just saying. I'm just saying. The, yeah, we do have great style. Seemed like if you were that afraid, you wouldn't be such a culture vulture, but I don't know. It could just be me. I don't know. Could be. Could be not. Who's to say? All right, cook that, cook it, cook it. I'm gonna make New York pasta sauce. Yeah. Oh, Claudette, I would love to have you on the show so you can make the sauce, girl. Yes. Okay, so after COVID, we're gonna plan. Definitely. Oh, Claudette's gonna make New York sauce. Eh, eh, eh. Oh, that's going to be awesome. That would be so much fun. Trump has made everything worse. <laughs> eh, maybe. Maybe he has. Oh, so it fell apart. <laughs> maybe he 
maybe he just destroyed my crab cake. Maybe it was me. Oh. <laughs> and no, I think he just exposed some things. We all knew he was a fool. He just exposed it. She whiz. Totally broke apart. So maybe I should have this. I just want to do the whole show over. I'm, just, I'm mad. I'm mad at the show. <laughs> mm. Garlic bread tastes good. Mm. Mm. Maybe I should have added more panko. I do it for the other stuff. I ain't gonna take a picture of it though. I don't know. No, you ain't miss nothing, Teresa. I messed up. Don't do what I do. I just did some crab cakes, but I um I didn't put enough panko in it. And, yeah. Anyway, I can have salad. Salad. A little more breadcrumbs. Yeah, definitely. Some. I'll add some more tomorrow and now I'll, I'll make another plating tomorrow and then take a picture of that but this uh -uh. no ma'am mm. ain't no need for you to look over there right now because it's done mm -mm. I gotta cut potatoes. So. But that was it. That was all I wanted to say. Really. I, um. I didn't know that. I knew I might say it, but. I I know it's like pointing out the obvious. The recipe for you. I got the recipe. I just didn't add enough. Bring on. Bon appetit. ever happen. Yeah. I guess it just needed to be seen. Thank you, Teresa. <laughs> want y'all to stop killing us period when I run you think I'm running from something so I ain't gonna run 
Bankieren. Zo. Nou. Stop killing us. That's all I want. Because we walk and we march. And like I said, ain't nothing wrong with it. If that's your thing, that's fine. Do not come for me on my page. If that's what you're doing, that's fine. But if you're doing that, and then going to go out tomorrow and spend your money with the same people that try to kill you, persecute you, oppress you. Then you send in a mixed message. That's all I'm saying. That's what I meant to say the first time. So I'm going to say it now. If you walking, if you running, or whatever they say, whatever the new cause is, for whatever. If you doing all of that, and still giving your oppressor, your money, your time, your energy. Then you are sending a mixed message. Send the right message the first time. Stop spending money with them. Mm-hmm. Grow your own food. Buy your own food from somebody who grows food. I mean, I'm just saying, there are a lot of things we can do as people in our community. They feel it when you take the dollars away. So take the dollars away. Black people have so much spending power in America. So much. Billions of dollars a year. Why are kids still in um, D and F rated schools? Why can't I go to the corner store and buy beer for less than I can buy a banana and an apple. No. <laughs> Claudette, you know I don't mean you. <laughs> don't man, I'm not even going to read it. <laughs> no, not. And, and that's the thing. I knew my white friends were going to say it. It's not all of us. I know it's not. Okay? I know. I'm not talking to you. That one came out pretty. Okay. Okay. You might be able to salvage it after all, honey. This one right here just look pitiful. Okay. So if you wrote the recipe down from what I did, just add, add another little handful. I don't know how much this is. Okay, but add that much more breadcrumb, okay? Seasoning to everything else is perfect. Mm, oh. Okay, let it cool off, then I'm gonna plate it, okay? It's good. Mmm, it's so pretty. Ooh. Mmm. I'm just a cut up. I am, but um when it comes to things that are serious, then, you know, I I got to give it my time, child. I got to give it my time. Because. Mm. Mm. Mm, mm, mm. Oh, thank you, Tommy. My brother, Tommy. Okay. So I'm going to switch subjects, but I'm not going to switch it off, okay? It's your job to keep the conversation going, okay? It is your job. But I do want to say, 
as a, as we end the show, I want to end by trying to discover what it is we're grateful for. Okay? It could be a person, it could be a place, a thing, a feeling, an experience, whatever. Okay? Just take a minute just to think. Just for today, one of those things, what can you truly say you are thankful for? I, um, I, I have several friends, more than I like, who um, don't have mothers with them for Mother's Day. And just from what people say about that, it, um, it's heart-wrenching. Because I know as I've gotten older, um, I've kind of developed this unique, special bond with my mom. So for that to go away, I can only, Im I don't want to imagine. I like her. I like her. Yeah, I love my mom. She's awesome. She's amazing. Um, been there for me time and time again. But I, I really like my mom. Yeah. She's badass. She is. She really is. But, uh, uh, just the, the time spent, the, the memories. I'm grateful for that. I'm grateful for the new memories that we can create. So, especially coming up to Mother's Day. Um, cause I realize it's hard for you Franz and several other of my friends out there. Um, who don't have mom with them this Mother's Day. So if you can think of one thing um, that you are truly grateful for before we go, you can go ahead and share it out, write it in the chat. Just to remind ourselves, I think it's so important to like write it down. How I write those affirmations to myself on the mirror. It's also important to write down what you're grateful for. So that it's in your face. You see it there. You know what it is. Um, and you don't take it for granted. Writing it just makes it kind of tangible. So, hopefully. Hmm. Hopefully you can do that before we go. Grateful for unconditional love and life. Amen. Mm. Yes, we do need to do a show together. <laughs> yes. Love and life. I just um just encourage you just to you know spend a little less time and it's hard with all the foolishness we see it it's hard not to go there and complain it really is oh jennifer i gotta read this i'm grateful for the opportunity to know better and do better oh. i'm also grateful to know how to appreciate giving love and receiving love back. Ooh, beautiful. Oh my God, that's amazing. It really is. Like I say, you know, if, if you get another day, if you wanted the blessed ones to get another day, then that's another day to make it better than the day before. So you have a responsibility to pay yourself in gratitude and to see what's 
so needed in this crazy, crazy world. If you can look back and find just a little glimmer of light and hope and a whole lot of love, honey, put it out there because we need it. We need it and we need you. Your job is not done. Use your voice. Walk, march, run, protest, all that. But if you got to say it with your dollars, say it with your dollars. If you got to say it with your vote, say it with your vote. Whatever you do, say it. Closed mouth don't get fed. Okay. I'm ready to eat. Oh, y'all thought I wasn't going to eat my masterpiece? I always eat my masterpiece. Always. Mm-mm-mm-mm. Okay, they're not yours, but they're going to do... Ooh. Mm. I may be black, I may be ugly, but I'm here, I'm here, honey, she done. Real crab meat, all crab meat. Very little fill. <laughs> As a matter of fact, not even enough. But you know what? Mm. The tarragon gives it a little umami. And then Tastes a little brightness from the lemon juice, the fresh squeezed lemon juice. It's so nice. Honey. I'm going to get the uh, proportions right in the lab. But she a hit. Mmm. 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 All right, boo. I done kept you long enough. I know. Remember, the work done in. So don't you stop. Whose birthday Wednesday? My birthday is Wednesday. Can't wait. <laughs> My brother Tommy. Yes, honey. Thank you, Kay. Y'all, thank you so much. Mmm. Mm, mm, mm. Thank you for um, just allowing me to step outside my head for a second and speak. May not always be the right thing at the right time, but I thank you um, for just allowing me the time and the space. Thank you, Tommy. I hope that you guys will have a great week. Uh, if nobody has told you this week, I'm telling you right now, you are doing a great job you are you're doing a great job stop you you're taking it too seriously and you're beating yourself up 
you are doing a phenomenal job and you are enough okay just you no frills you're enough i love you and i hope you love me back <laughs>